Hey guys, it's Dark with FPV Professor, and today we are getting ready to build the brand new Martian 2 140 V2 edition. Now the V1 edition had a uh, all-in-one flight controller that looks something like this. Okay, you guys, the new one, the V2 has a stack. It's what we call a stack here, flight controller and ESC. So that's one of the things that makes it a little different than the V1. But right now what we're gonna do is, this is just our video to introduce the parts to you, go over the parts, kind of explain them very quickly. Then we're gonna get started with the building of the frame, installing of the controller and ESC and so forth. Okay, so let's start with what we have over here. Right here, we have the um, 1408 uh, 2800 KV motors uh, made for Cyclone FPV by Flash Hobby. And this is obviously the Cyclone FPV plug-in pilot that's exclusive to Cyclone FPV. This is their kit. Um, okay, so these are the motors here. We've got four of these 2800 kV motors, and we'll get into what the kV means in the 1408 and all that when we talk about the motors. But what we're going to do is there's the motors, and then these are the bags that contain the uh, fastener for the propellers, and then the screws that will go into the bottom of the motor to hold it to the frame. So we're going to set those aside for the time being. Next thing we're going to do is let's look at our camera. Here's our camera right here. This is going to be what we use for our video, especially if you're wearing goggles or you're going to watch this on a monitor. So this is going to be the camera that shoots that video right here. And this is the little bag right here that has um, some screws in it and an Allen wrench and this is what we're going to use to tighten it down uh, to the frame. So we put that aside. This is your VTX right here. This is your video transmitter. So the camera is going to be wired to the flight controller and the VTX is wired to the flight controller also. And then the VTX sends the signal out and there's an antenna that you get that comes with it like this. That just pops on this little connection here called the UFL connector. This sends the video out to the goggle. So in from the camera to the flight controller, out through the VTX or video transmitter to your goggles, okay? So the, and this gets really hot, so you're gonna wanna be careful once it's plugged in. You don't wanna leave your drone sitting there too long because these can overheat. So we're gonna set that aside. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is let's look at our stack here. This is the uh, HGLRC uh, flight controller. This is an F4 flight controller right here. And we've already pre-wired it for you. That's why this is called a plug-in pilot. You have no soldering to do at all. So this controller right here is gonna be the main, this is the main flight controller. This is what's gonna control the craft and receive the signal from your, um, from your radio when you're flying. Okay, we'll put that aside. The next thing here is we have the speed controller. Now this is one of the things, like I said, that's different from the V1. The speed controller is actually a separate board here. And as you can see, there are four sets of wires. Each one starts with a yellow and ends with a black. So it's yellow, red, black uh, on here, yellow, red, black here. And then on the outside here, it's yellow, red, black and yellow, red, black. Each motor, and you'll see right here, these are called bullet connectors. And these bullet connectors that are on the end of the motors will be plugging in to these wires, uh, to these bullet connectors on this side, okay? And then on this flat, on this ESC as well, you're gonna notice your cable may be plugged in, it may not be, uh, but there's the cable, the wiring harness goes underneath right here. And then on the top here, you have an XT30 cable, which will connect to your battery, and you have a pre-soldered capacitor on here as well. Okay, we'll go over all of this more in a little bit, but those are gonna be the components. Now what we have left is you have your receiver right here, you may have a different receiver than what I'm showing you. Um, this is specific to this particular build, but no matter what, your receiver will have a plug on the end of it that looks like this, which will be plugging into this wire right here, okay? So we can put your receiver aside, put everything aside for the time being, and then what we've got left is your frame. So on your frame, you have this little bag of pieces right here. This is gonna be the plate where your battery sits, and these are the foam pads that go underneath it so that when you land, you don't scuff up the carbon fiber. These are the standoffs. These are 25 millimeter standoffs. That's in height here. Those are gonna go in the four corners here and then along these four other posts right here. And we're gonna go ahead and do that in our assembly. These are all the screws and standoffs and everything you're gonna need for that. And then this is your bottom plate. This is your, these are your camera holders and I'll show you how to use those. And then this is the top plate that will be fastened to the top of these uh, standoffs. And that's pretty much it to start. That's all we're gonna be doing to make your new uh, to make your new drone. So just hang tight. One of the things, oh, and you have your Velcro strap here, by the way, this is gonna be what's holding your battery in place. So what we're gonna do here is I want you, before we end this video real quickly, is I'd like you to just clear the desk, except for the frame. So take all the screws, put them uh, aside. If you have a box or something to put them in, just take your motors and set them aside. Your flight controller and ESC, set those aside. Your receiver and your VTX and the antenna, the camera and the battery strap, set that aside. And basically what we wanna have left is just these pieces right here because we're gonna go straight into building the frame. And we're gonna stop every video uh, like this and then start it right back up where we stop so everything looks the same to you when you get back to it, okay? So that's, that's the introduction to the parts. Here we go, guys. We're gonna build the frame first. I'll see you in just a second.